Hi! In this video, I'm going to show you how to write powers with fractional exponents as radicals, and then how to write radicals as powers with fractional exponents. So it's useful to be able to change uh, back and forth between radicals and powers, because each one is different, use, is um, convenient for a different thing. Radicals uh, are more useful if you're trying to uh, evaluate the size of a number, especially if you're trying to do it mentally. Um, but exponents are more useful uh, if you want to use exponent laws. So if you're trying to simplify expressions, it's much easier with exponents. Okay, just before we start, I'm just going to write down the uh, the rule that tells us what, what fractional exponents mean. Let me just put it over here. So it's a to the m over n equals, and we have two different ways of writing this, we can either do first a to the m, and then do the nth root, or we can do the nth root first, nth root of a, and then raise that to the exponent m. Um, so often this second one is my favorite, um, because it keeps my numbers smaller, but this one sometimes is much better. So those are both good. So remember that the denominator is the root, right? and the numerator, the m, um, that's the, the number that we, the exponent that we raise the base to. Okay, so right is a radical in two different ways. We have 50 to the exponent 2 thirds. So, the 3 is going to be the, the root. I'm going to take a cube root. So I can either do a cube root of 50 and then square all of that, or I can do 50 squared first and then take a cube root. Okay, these are both these are both correct and they're both useful. Okay, in the next example we have 6 to the exponent 5 over 2. So the same thing here. The 2 is going to be the root, so it's going to be a square root. So I can do um, the square root of 6 to the exponent 5. Or I can do 6 to the exponent 5 and then take the square root of that. So remember as you're looking this, at this, if you're wondering where the 2 went, remember that a square root, we don't need to write the 2 there. Uh, you can if you want, but usually we leave it off. Okay, so down here these questions ask us to write as a power. So that means a base with an exponent. So the base is going to be 6. And then the power, the number that we're raising the base the exponent that we're raising the base to, that's going to be the numerator of the fraction, the top number. And then the root here is going to be the denominator. So we're just going backwards here, like this. So this is going to be 6 to the exponent 3 quarters. As you're writing this, um, it's pretty hard to make, make sure that your, frac uh, that your exponents look like exponents, even when they're fractions. Uh, make sure you don't write if you write it too big, it looks like 6 and 3 quarters, and it doesn't look like an exponent anymore. So try to keep everything nice and small. Okay, and then here, our base is 12, and it's going to be to the exponent 5 over, the denominator will be the number here, the root. And here we're missing a number. And if we've got, if we've got a root but no number here, that means that it's understood to be a 2. So the exponent here is going to be... 5 over 2. Okay, so big things to remember. Uh, the denominator of the exponent is the, uh, the root. And then the numerator of the exponent, uh, we raise the, the, um, the base to that number. Okay, good luck.